Welcome back everyone, it's that time again. We got another box from VGM to check out. You know, this whole year has been pretty cool and this month is no exception. So let's get right to it. Let's, uh, you know, let's just get this one turd out of the way. Hold on. Uh, what is this called? Tom and Jerry Frantic Antics? You know, at first this game didn't seem that bad. I didn't have high expectations or anything like that. It's one of those games where you don't really have time to react and before you know it you're already taking damage. But unfortunately not every game can be a gem. Next up is a game that I surprisingly enjoyed, and that was Top Gear 2 on the Genesis. I'm typically not a big fan of racing games, but every now and then I find some that I enjoy. I mean, there's nothing really special about it, but you know what? It controls pretty well, at least to me it did, and yeah, I, I had a good time with it. Next up, we got a couple of Japanese N64 games. First up, we got Bomberman 2. I feel like I've gotten a lot of Bomberman games recently. Now, typically I'm not a big fan of Bomberman. I have nothing against the games. It's just they never really interest me. But I'm not gonna lie, I didn't hate this game. The wife and I played it for a lot longer than I expected. I didn't have any idea what the hell I was doing at first. If you can't tell, I just keep blowing myself up. But you know what? I didn't have a bad time with it. Next up is a game that I'm not gonna have gameplay footage for. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this game before. But I got SimCity 2000. Now what's kind of cool about this is the fact that this is a demo that I did play on my family PC way back in the day. I typically didn't play PC games because my PC couldn't run it. And every time I installed anything on my PC, my dad thought I installed a virus. Yeah, that was, it was those days. But I was at a yard sale a couple of weeks ago, actually. And no joke picked up SimCity 2000 on PC for free. They basically just gave this to me. And I wanted it because it's like, oh man, I played this demo so much as a kid. And they were like, yeah, go ahead and have it. And one of these days, I'm gonna get a PC that I can play some classic PC games on. But just to get this was just kind of cool. Yeah. Now, before we get to the last game, I wanna talk about this for a second. I wanna know if this has happened to anybody else because it's happened to me a couple of times with VGM and it kind of freaks me out. But people joke about how like they're talking about something with a friend of theirs and all of a sudden they start getting advertisements for what it was they were talking about. And you know what? I The other day I was going through a bunch of arcade ROMs on my computer and there was a game on there that kind of reminded me of this next game. And I was like, oh, I actually don't even have the arcade ROM for that game. And I actually kind of like that game. And then I ended up getting the game I was talking about, Bump and Jump on the NES. Yes, I actually really enjoy the arcade of Bump and Jump, and I realized I didn't have the arcade ROM. And no joke, a couple of days later, this shows up. This has happened with other games, and it freaks me out. I don't know what's going on, but VGM, you're creeping me out. Now, at first, I didn't really care for this version of the game, but once I figured out the controls, I started having a good time. I don't know what it is about this game. I don't know if it's just because the, the simple controls or what it is, but I just kind of like it. It's fun. Well, anyway, guys, that was another great month from VGM. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you again next time.